Andrews with that report. Thank you. Robin. Thanks, Bobby. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, why not check out the new exhibit at the Old State House? It's called Arkansas Art Pottery, and here to tell us about it is our special guest curator, David Edwin Gifford. Good morning, David. Thank you for having me. Well, glad you came in and brought this wide variety, and they're all from Arkansas. They are. We have three, or we had three commercial manufacturing concerns with uh, art pottery in Arkansas. First one was Washita, 1905 to 1908, the earliest. And that's this down the, here. Mm -hmm. And the second one is Nile Oak, Nile Oak Pottery in Benton, Arkansas. And the third one was Cam Art Pottery in Camden, Arkansas. That's this one over here. Go Luster. Now, did you say Kmart? No, I said <laughs> Cam Art. And Cam Art. It, and it's I'm taken giving you from, a hard time. I know you are. I, I know how this crew works in the morning. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It is. It's, it's gold luster. I'm going to scoot this one over for just a second. Mm -hmm. and look at this. This looks like something I would have picked up on vacation in Hawaii. Beautiful. Gold luster made by, uh, influenced by a man named John LaSalle from Ohio. And one of the underlining themes that we have in the manufacturing of Arkansas art pottery is outside influences. For example, the Washita pottery is primarily matte green. I'll get you to show it to this and, camera uh, right here so okay, folks. Okay, matte green. And this is a incised, someone actually took a little tool and incised this deer and fawn. And we, in fact, we know who it is. It's signed on the bottom, S-E-S, -E the initials, and that's uh, Sarah Elizabeth Smith. And the reason they're, they're matte green, because at the turn of the century, matte green, uh, because this is dates uh, very early uh, to last century, we have to say now, okay. that uh, matte green was very popular. And all the companies were making it. So um, you can have both inside design by hand, such as that piece, or you could have a molded. That's what I was going to ask. Is this one is more a uh, 3D looking. Right. It's got some dimension to right. it. Because actually, they, 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 the artist so put pretty. the design into the mold so they can make more than just one of these. As as opposed to this might be one of a kind huh. because it's individually well, done. Now what about, these are interesting, all of the colors that are in here. Well, Nilo Pottery created something uh, radically different. Although it wasn't new to the, the company, uh, it was radically different because all this pottery, Cam Art and Washita, these are exterior applied glazes. Okay. With Nilo Pottery, what they did was take clay, artificially color it, ferric oxide for red, cobalt oxide for blue, and they would mix them and throw them on a wheel. So each piece is unique. There, there, there are no pieces alike. In fact, Charles Hyten, the co-owner uh, of Nilo Pottery, offered at one point $1,000 reward if somebody could find two identical, but you can't because it's all law of nature. Wow. So we're looking at about, you said $12,000 $12, here? $12,000. Now well, these are some of the premium pieces. These companies made a lot of stuff that is, that's not it's not worth maybe ten, fifteen dollars, but this is the see that'd be my luck. I'd have the ten or fifteen dollar piece. Well, that's, that's what we did with the exhibit <laughs> at the old state house. We are showing the the probably the best of the best right. of the Arkansas pottery manufacturing uh, pieces, and for for the last one, the the gold luster. I love this. There's a phone number on the screen. Also, let me just mention that if you want to jot it down for more information. I'm sorry, David. Go ahead. Well, the the gold luster uh, was a very complicated. Uh, process and in fact it took about five to seven firings in the kiln to create this glaze and this was not cheap pottery even back then this piece sold for about $25 in 1926 and 7. And that was a lot of money back then. A lot then. of money. Mm -hmm. All right so um, you're gonna let me take home one of these right? Uh, no. All right, David. I was gonna. You gotta give a girl a chance. I mean, at least I, I made a shot there. Yeah. Curator I'm used David. to saying no. No. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> David Edwin Gifford. Go over and check this out. It's over at the old state house, which is a beautiful place to go and look at any time of the year. My stepdaughter just went there for a tour the other day. By the way, she loved it. We're right heading off to a short break. It's 6:31. Stick around. We'll be right back. Here comes the chocolate milk train. Hannah.